I don't know why I would lie to my Jamaican mother, but I promise you I have never been this embarrassed in my life. It was summer of the sixth grade and I would always tell my parents that I was going to the library when really everyone was chilling at the rec center. Mind you, the rec center and the library are pretty close, so I wasn't like lying. When I would go out, she would do this thing where she would say, oh, I'm gonna come by, I'm gonna stop by, I'm gonna drive by, just so it was in the back of my head so I wasn't up to no shenanigans. Friend and I are about to leave to go to the library. We tell my mom and my mom says, I'm gonna come by. My friend and I are so nonchalant. We're like, okay, we'll see you there because this girl always does this. So we didn't think she was actually gonna pull up. We make it to the rec center. All our friends are there and we're chilling with a bunch of boys and like some boys are playing basketball and some boys are like on the bench and we're sitting on the bench with these boys. I have like this boy that I'm talking to beside me and his arms around me and we're like chilling and having fun. I'm like, oh my gosh, like I'm getting wrists at the rec center. Boom, then my head hit the floor. I look my mother and my friend's mother are walking into the rec center i said pardon I look to the boy that has his arm around me and i'm like that's my mom that's my mom my friend that was with me she was like oh and it seems like they're walking to us in slow motion and we're still on the bench and this guy's arm is still around me everyone was silently freaking out because we all have jamaican parents and we know that they're crazy so we're sitting there like oh my god what is about to happen my mom's in front of us on the bench now and she looks at the boy and she was like your arm better be broken his friend that was beside him was literally like oh yeah his arm is broken we were just playing basketball and my mom looked at me and said get up i said oh by God's grace, she took me out of the rec center and then started paging me outside of the rec center. We're walking home and I guess I gave her a bit of attitude and she grabs me by my shirt like this and she starts cussing me out. I was like, oh, shit, like I must stop, I must stop. And I was so embarrassed, but I like rubbed it off because like the embarrassing part happened where nobody was around. But my friend, you know who you are, she goes and tells everyone, everyone, Yo, Destiny's mom draped her up in the forest. Pardon? Cause I'm in my bedroom chill thinking like, they didn't even see the embarrassing part. Like I'm in the clear, I'm good. I can go back to the rec center. Nah, my homie knocked on my door and she was like, yo, I heard you got draped up in the forest. Bro, I couldn't go outside after that. Story time about how Nessa bullied me in high school. Okay, so I was sitting in English near the window and just minding my business, barely paying attention in class. Next thing you know, Nessa Bear barges in, like literally barges in the classroom. She's like, you fat gorilla, where's my lunch money? I'm like, what lunch money? She's like, I know you took it. I know you took my money. Da -da -da -da. I was like, first of all, I'm on free and reduced lunch. Okay, my lunch is free. So therefore, I do not need your money. So then after I said that, she dragged me by my hair. Like, she literally took me by my hair, dragged me out of the desk, and then started swinging me around. And then she threw me out the window. And I... it's so traumatizing every time I think about it. She threw me out the window. All my classmates were looking at me, like, laughing. And mind you, it was, like, from the second floor. I literally was on the ground like this. No one came to help me at all. So... I have a stalker. I met him back in 2019 when I was attending high school. And see, I had French class with him and my teacher used to always pick on him and I wasn't feeling that. And he used to like always fall asleep in class. So one day, being me, I decided let's bring him some snacks. And I've had a lot of bad ideas in my life and that just happened to be one of them. I don't know what changed in him, but from that day, he was just like, following me and when i mean follow me i meant like he would sit at the cafeteria table with me and my friends or when it was time to leave school like he would try to say hi before i left and at the time it didn't really bother me i just thought he didn't have friends here's where things start to get a little strange summertime rolls around and i think i accidentally added him on snapchat because at that point i was just adding anybody back he basically messaged me and told me who he was. I would talk to him a little bit just to be nice. But then he used to start sending me weird drawings that he was blocked effective immediately. And you would think it would stop there. But y'all, when I tell you he's probably made over 40 accounts since 2019 to now harassing me, I'm not playing. Let's really get into it. From my Twitter to my TikTok to my Instagram, he would stay in my requests. But what I would see is so disturbing to him, like showing him getting tattoos of me, like crazy stuff. Like, and I tried y'all, I tried to report it to the police, the school system, but no one could do anything about it because he was simply harassing me and not threatening me. 
it even got to a point where he was sending me thousands of dollars on my cash app to get me to unblock him and i took it but i was scared to take it it really got to a point where i was like should i even be worried it's just the internet like i could just block him and keep it pushing lo and behold guys i have a live show that i post on my instagram to tell people to come to and he comes and he's watching me like literally staring at me from across the room with alcohol in his hand just staring at me bro i was so terrified when i seen him in person like it was one of the scariest moments of my life because i didn't know what he was gonna do like he could have easily just been like and i'm just that's it i immediately grabbed my friend and we had to run into this closet and hide because i don't know what type of time he was on then he popped up on me again and again trying to profess his undying love for me i even made a tiktok on this back in 2020 like this is no new news we finally got the police involved now so bro try to touch me he's gonna get the bow bow we shouldn't even have to live like this get ready for me while i tell you guys a story time about how i broke up a relationship and then got people suspended also, this is a follower submitted story time. If you want to submit me your story time, go to my Instagram and DM me. So to start off, there's this one girl that went to school with us who was always mean to literally everyone. We're going to call this girl Lexi. Anyways, Lexi was saying this boy, we're going to call him Andrew. And Andrew was super popular and everyone had a crush on him because, I mean, this guy was gorgeous. So my grade went on a two-day field trip, but a lot of people, including me, didn't go. So during classes, we just had free time and were able to do whatever we wanted. Also, Lexi went on the field trip, but Andrew didn't. One day, my friend Marissa and I got super bored, so we decided to go to the back of the school and play some volleyball. But when we got there, we saw Andrew flirting with another girl. We're going to call this girl Mia. Keep in mind, Mia used to date Andrew in the past. The whole time we were playing, Andrew and Mia just kept on flirting, which was really weird. But then we decided to take a break, and Mia suggested that we play Truth or Dare. But during Truth or Dare, Mia and Andrew kept on flirting. Mia would ask questions like, do you miss me? And like corny stuff like that. And so me and my best friend Marissa came up with the best idea that we needed to record this just so we had like receipts and stuff. So I took a recording of it, but then the next day I texted Mia confronting her about the whole Andrew situation. And Mia was flexing about how Andrew might break up with Lexi for her and how they were FaceTiming all night and just doing all the stuff they used to do when they were dating. And so when this happened, I immediately took a screenshot of her chat and then showed this to my best friend Marissa. Marissa and I were trying to figure out the pros and cons of telling Lexi, but in the end, we both decided that it was best not to tell Lexi what happened. Just because she was super rude and never talked to us in the past. But honestly, that just didn't sit right to me because I'm a girl's girl, so I texted Lexi and I told her everything. And let's just say Lexi was pissed. When Lexi came back to school, the whole school knew everything that happened. And Andrew got mad and kept on denying everything, saying that I was lying and the audio recordings were fake. And so, Andrew started coming at me, like he would kick me and throw water on me. And I had enough, so I told my bestie Marissa everything that Andrew was doing to me, and then she went and threatened him. And then Lexi got mad at Mia, and they started fighting. And Andrew got pulled into the mix, so it was a huge cat fight. And all three of them ended up getting suspended, all because of me. Bye for more story times. Bye!